Hello everyone, my name is Ming Li Chen. For this video, I will talk about the social development theory. The purpose of this e-lecture is to make students know the definition of social development theory. Three main theories about Vygotsky's theory and the few differences between Vygotsky and other researchers' theory and a related theory. Before we begin our e-lecture, I want to introduce the researcher of the theory, Lev Vygotsky. Lev Vygotsky is a Russian psychologist who proposed social development theory. He was born in Osha, graduated from Moscow State University in 1970. He began work at the Institute of Psychology in the 1920s, where he developed an interest in the psychology of education. He passed away at age of 37. First, I will talk about the definition of social development theory. It explains qualitative changes in the structure and the framework of society that help the society to better realize its aims and objective. The most important and basic part for cognitive development is social interaction. One of the three main themes is social interaction. Social interaction is an important foundation of the development of cognition. Vygotsky thought social learning anticipates development. He states that every function in a child's cultural development appears twice, first on the social level and later on the individual level. Second between people and then inside the child. He believes that young children are curious and actively involved in their own learning and the development of new understandings. The second theme is more knowledgeable than other. It means that someone who has better comprehending than others. For example, teachers, adults, and advanced students. Many times, a child's peer may be the individuals with more knowledge or experiences. The last theme is the zone of proximal development. It is used to show the distance between children's abilities to finish a task cooperatively and their abilities to do a task independently. This is an important concept that relates to the differences between what a child can achieve independently and what a child can achieve with encouragement from a skilled person. This chart directly shows what the meaning of zone of proximal development is. There are many differences between Vygotsky and the Piaget's theories. First, Vygotsky places more emphasis on cultural affecting Vygotsky does not refer to stages in the way that Piaget does. Second, Vygotsky places more emphasis on social factors contributing to cognitive development. Piaget is criticized for underestimating this. Third, Vygotsky places more emphasis on the role of language in cognitive development. Piaget is criticized for lack of emphasis on this again. Let's talk about this situation. A child tries to chronologically arrange the blocks that contain the letter A to Z. At first, his performance is poor, but when his mother sits beside him and tells him how to arrange the letters properly, he begins to learn how to do so. The child will then master the knowledge of arranging the alphabet with the presence of his parent. His mother, on the other hand, gradually lets the child do the skill on his own, making the child more competent. Well, this is an example of social development theory. In this theory, Vygotsky primarily explains that socialization affects the learning process in an individual. Related theory, social learning theory, for example, a social learning theorist may believe that a child eventually learns to walk partly from watching other people around him or her walk. Social development theory. 
Vygotsky believes that the child had the potential to walk, but needed physical skills and the collaborations of a more skilled walker. I summarize all the main points that you need to know about the social development theory after watching this video. If you have any questions about social development theory, please let me know.